Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How you doing, people? So today, I thought I'd make a Market Watch video to, you know, let my subscribers know and people in general to, you know, kind of be careful about what you're buying and know what you're buying. So um, it's currently close to 11:30. This will be posted tomorrow in about an hour, give or take. And I don't want people to um, to over invest or in, buy into something that they believe is like the first appearance. So if you see here on the screen, um, first for the Vision, the Vision and Scarlet Witch, there was a uh, mini series that was Volume One, which was um, According to Wikipedia here, this limited series was written by Bill Melanto and penciled by uh, Rick Leonardi. In the series, the villain Magneto is retconned as the father of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver while intending to give up his villainous ways. The reveal had some previous clues which were released during the Avengers and X-Men titles. This stated a comment. This stayed as comic book canon for many decades until it was undone in 2014 crossover stories access. Yeah, I wish these people would just make up their mind. Uh, what you want to look at is uh, volume two. And this is where you should really be careful because what you're going to be buying into is, while some people might consider it the first appearance, it's them as a baby so um as you can see here you can buy this for like 90 bucks i wouldn't touch that um i'm not thinking of these sellers before you know i don't want to say anything bad i, I haven't looked up on it i'm just going by the prices but th the reason why i'm saying you know only buy into this if you want to read the story like i read i've read both of them and I enjoyed it. They were cool stories, you know. Um, but when it comes to the, you know, 1 through 12, I would really try to be picking these books up at best if they're in near mint. The equivalence of like $5 a book. So with shipping, paying no more than, you know, 75 or 80 And that's including with tax because, you know, uh, eBay's doing taxes, tax now. So if I'd pick this up, I'd try to pick this up at like 60 bucks. And in fact, I would just try to just slowly piecemeal it or try to get it to uh, once the hype dies down. So what you're really looking for is Young Avengers number one. And right now, I would say kind of if you're buying it because of Wiccan, this should be a, a red alert right here. They are hyping Kate Bishop more than Wiccan. Like this is like, this is, this title is mentioning Wiccan. This is Kate Bishop, Kate Bishop. First appearance of Kate Bishop, Ireland. Price will go up. Like if I look at, if I click on this and we go over the image here. Like, they don't even put his name in here. They just put the first appearance of the Young Avengers. What's that say? So, to me, um, be careful with these books. Even if you're if you're a Kate Bishop fan and you're hyped about that, uh, this would be a good time to buy into trying to get a CGC book. Because the prices aren't too bad. I wouldn't get into the first appearance of Speed and Kate Bishop named as Hawkeye. I mean, not that many collectors are really going to be going for that. As opposed to, you know, getting this number one. And to prove my point even further about the, um, the whole baby thing, you know, like, well, that's the first appearance, the first appearance of baby. Most people are not into that. Um, most people want the first appearance of them as in their costume, that type of thing, or at least as an adult. Um, perfect example of that is X-Men 201. 
first appearance of uh, Baby Cable. And I remember when Cable was hot, they were going back to these books. And these books have really dropped. I mean, here's one that has, it's at 14 bids. And it's at $40, you know. Uh, a 9.8 for 100. Uh, I don't know if I'd drop that kind of money. I'd probably try to stick anywhere between 60 and 75 because that's what you the equivalent of what you would pay to have your book sent in and with insurance and shipping so picking up a book between 60 and 75 and maybe as high as 80 for a um, a guaranteed 9.8 that's not bad you know if that's if that's the book that you want to um, that you want to buy and add to your collection like myself I'm, I'm collecting x-men uh, 1 to 300, so eventually I might have buy a CGC of this, but it's not on my hit list at the moment. So a raw copy is going for like 10 bucks, and you're just going to real, and that looks like fine, just by me just barely looking at the image before I get a close-up. Um, you know, here's another one. Just, you know, like I said, like I say, just do your research know what you're buying into uh so with cable i wanted to make sure that you're seeing this is what he's being sold for so a 9.8 sold for 425 and it's a buy it now so who knows if somebody could have got a little bit cheaper um right here it's a 5.5 i mean you know it probably had some serious issues with it you know 50 bucks Here's another one. It looks like a 9.8. Seems you're going to be paying like over 400. Um, here's a best offer. You know, we're probably talking like at least 125 to 150 range. Another best offer, 9.6 with a signature. Probably like, I don't know, 2 to 225, maybe even a little bit lower. Uh, 8.5, same thing, under 100. So. With um, the shows that are coming out, you know, do your research, see what the characters are going to impact the MCU and how long they're going to be, they're going to impact the market. Um, I don't know how, how long Kate Bishop and Wiccan are going to impact the market because, um, as far as comics go, Cable's been around for a long time, and he's a very popular X-Men. But um, his hype has really died down. Now, when they do another Deadpool movie, if he's in there, you'll see prices skyrocketing again, you know. And if you want to sell, that'd probably be the best time. But um, for those of you who are just looking for a good deal, just pay attention to the market. Pay attention to what's what the hype is and know that you can always let the hype down die for these books you know especially with like kate bishop and and wiccan if you're not really ready to um pull the trigger on these prices right now then don't um they'll probably go up just a little bit i mean i could be wrong but at least you get to see another different point of view. I mean, that's my opinion on it and what I've been watching. And I try to get books that I consider reasonable. And sometimes I've been able to get some really great deals. Like I bought these books at, you know, newsstand price because um, I just happen to be reading um, comic books at this time. I'm always on and off. But I like I wanted to make this video just letting people know, or especially my subscribers do, um, I would just take a, I would just back off on this book. If you didn't buy these books when they first started, uh, talking about WandaVision, the rumors, that was the time to buy these books where you could get these books for like anywhere between 20 to $50. And now you're just playing, uh, hype prices. Well, that's it people. Hope you guys are having a good weekend and take care.